Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this one is um, about gun bluing. Toby sent me this and uh, this is exactly what uh, Peter needs for his uh, gun bluing stuff. So, it, bluing is just basically a patina, but you've got a chemical. And this is what I was telling him to get. You can get it in a liquid or a paste and the liquid a lot of times does a better job uh, but this is a little kit that comes with uh, I guess he got it from Westlake Market these are synthetic pads here and then these are little applicators neither one of which I had I also have this uh, that I've had for quite a while is steel wool you've got Two different grades. This is what you would want to use. Uh, the really fine. I think it's like triple zero. This is a little bit coarser. Alright, so. What you really need to do is read the instructions to do this. And it's fairly easy. It says basically clean metal parts to be reblued with cleaner degreaser or denatured alcohol. Now they don't. You can use rubbing alcohol, but the best stuff is that denatured alcohol. It's basically like paint stripper, you know. Um, that's what I use in my uh, alcohol stoves when I burn stuff because it burns clean. But it's also a good uh, solvent. And then rinse with cold water. For complete rebluing, remove the old bluing, which is basically the way you should do that. Uh, if you're going to do the edge of your knife, which he was doing or something. <coughs> And uh, it, it didn't have any bluing with it, but, you know, it says use this rust remover, you know. Um, they've got products for all that crap, but uh, brighten the area to be re-blued with steel wool or abrasive cloth. <clears throat> That's why I'd use high grit steel wool, but he had ridges in his uh, grind line, you know, so you could probably use um, more abrasive if you wanted to. Clean again and rinse. Apply blue with saturated swab or sponge. Allow to work one minute. This is not going to take long, and I've, I've used this stuff before. Um, it's almost instantaneous. Rinse with cold water and wipe dry. Polish lightly with steel wool. Repeat steps 4, 5, 6, and 7 to obtain a darker blue. Saturate metal with... Barricade rust prevention allow to cure overnight for best results. So yeah, it's not it's not that hard to do, but this stuff is uh, you know toxic. You don't want to get it on your hands and stuff like that. And another thing I want to bring up is I've been messing with knives all day, of course, but not doing anything wild like balisong or anything like that. And I looked at my knuckle. And I had some blood on it. I went, wow, I must have cut myself. Well, the blood was actually coming from over here. I don't know what I don't know what I did. This is gonna get a little kind of nasty. I don't know what I did, but I cut myself pretty good right through there. I washed it off as much as I could. This just happened recently. Because uh, I put rubbing alcohol on my hands and I went, ha ha ha. You know, when you get uh, not rub, yeah, not rubbing alcohol, uh, hand cleaner, hand sanitizer, and that'll let you know where you got cuts. Now, that's a weird place to get a cut and not even know it. I mean, it bled enough to get on my finger here. I wasn't doing anything. I don't know if you ever had that happen. Most of my cuts, I know instantly when it happens, but, uh, that's just an odd place, you know, on the side of your hand there, and it's about, it's about that long, you know, it's about half an inch long. And it went deep enough to draw blood, so I don't know. It wasn't gushing blood or anything. Just weird, weird things that happen to knife people. Maybe like some pyromaniac, you know, saying, Hey, man, did you ever get burned just randomly? Yeah, oh, yeah, I got something for your burn right here. So anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that one in there for you. I don't have anything I'm going to blue right now. Maybe later on I'll do another video on that, but... I, that was just, this is just basically the kind of kit that <laughs> Peter needed right you know now because he was going through that condor rebluing stuff or you know 
force patina, which is basically what you're doing on a bluing. You're, you're getting it down to bare metal, and then you're replacing the bare metal with a, a layer of something so that rust won't attack it as much. Some kind of oxide layer or something like that. Anyway, there you go. I thought I'd just throw that quickie in there for you. And uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. My brother's been bit really bad by a badger. I need the doc quickly. I better go help him right now.